What is up, YouTubians? Cooter Malloy here coming at you with another exciting video. And yes, I just called you YouTubians. So anyways, <laughs> this is my video of how I am cleaning my four-quart stainless steel pan, saucepan, from all clad. This is the D3 four-quart stainless steel saucepan. Uh, I just got this in the mail today. If you can, if you can go back, you'll see the video of the unboxing basically and why I purchased it. But this is just to show you how I am cleaning this thing for the very first time. So I took it to the sink first. I washed it out with just regular dish soap and water, you know, all over a top, bottom, underneath, inside the outside. You get the idea. Even the lid, I did the same thing too. Now what I'm doing is, is I put some white vinegar in there, pretty much filled it up to where the rivet line is. I put some white vinegar in there and just a little bit of dish soap and I'm going to bring this up to a boil. So I'm on pretty high heat, like between high and medium, pretty high heat. Biggest burner I have. I'm going to bring this up to just to it starts to boil, shut off the heat and then just let it sit until it comes back down to room temperature. And the reason why I am doing this is because I want to boil off anything that was left behind by the manufacturing process. Like Sometimes when they make these pots and pans, they use oil to lubricate the machining parts, or it could also be a shipping thing. I think my other, uh, my, what was it? The 10 inch skillet had almost like a plastic coating on it. So I had to do that as well to that pan, but I just want to make sure that I'm boiling everything off, whatever might've been in there and then letting it come down to room temperature. Then what I'm going to do is once it's at room temperature, I'm going to pour the whole thing out into the sink given another good washing with dish soap and a soft sponge and just make sure I wash the inside, outside the handles, everything, just make sure it's totally clean. Then after that, it's ready to go. I can use it all I want to. So one thing I discovered when I was taking this thing out of the box was this little hole right here. Oh my God, what is that for? Well, if you're using a wooden spoon, I guess, depending on the size of your wooden spoon, let's say you were making sauce, right? And you're like, where do I put my spoon? Cause you don't want to make a mess or whatever. You can just stick it right in that hole and it'll stay in place. Isn't that cool? Isn't that a cool little feature? So if I give this thing like a nice little, uh, almost 180 degree turn, you can kind of see that the wooden spoon basically stays in that little hole and then whatever was in there can drip down. Isn't that cool? That is so awesome. Uh, it's also a hanging hole. So if you had like one of those rack systems on your wall, you could hang the pot, you know, that way. Uh, but you get the idea. Anyways, I just thought that was awesome. I've heard of people like if you're making, let's say pasta or rice or some kind of soup where, uh, you add salt to it and you get that bubbling effect where, you know, you had too much liquid. I heard that if you put a wooden spoon over the top like this, the wooden spoon will help to, I think it's either break or create the surface tension. Maybe if one of you guys knows, you can put that in the comment section down below. Uh, but it basically prevents things from boiling over. I don't know to what degree that works or doesn't work, uh, but basically I heard that the wooden spoon basically pops the bubbles before they have a chance to, to boil over to bubble oil. So definitely comment on that below if you, if you have any experience with that. And guess what else is down below? There is the subscribe button. There's also the like button. And there is also a link to this product in the description if you care to purchase that online. I am Cooter Malloy. I am trying to keep you up to date with all the best bang for the buck items that I can possibly do. I buy all these things on my own. They're not given to So far, everything I've gotten, I've had to buy on my own. And the reason why I've bought them is because they truly are the best value product you can find at the best price that I could find. So there you go, guys. Please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. And I will catch you guys on the next one.